Hey guys, I've tried to do this video at least five times now. I had one recorded and I had to delete it and redo it because I could not hear the audio on it. I'm having an issue with my technology today. I haven't done a video for a long time and I thought it was about time I do one. I've got some cool things to show you. I'm going to show you first what I ordered online at a website called wisdomproducts.com. I was very pleased with it. I was very happy with when they were out of stock of something. Instead of just automatically either refunding or sending something else, they emailed me, they let me know, they asked me if I wanted to pick a different color of the item or have a refund. And I decided to choose different colors, but then they emailed me back again and told me that my original color choice showed up at the company so they went ahead and sent me that um, extremely fast shipping I ordered just a couple of days ago and it's already here I was extremely happy with that I didn't expect to get it until next week so I'll just go ahead and dive right into this the first thing that I ordered I've been looking for these for quite a while couldn't find them for a decent price this place sold them for I think about I want to say five or six dollars I can't remember right off it's the holy death candle I got a white one it's the seven day candle and I got a black one and they told me they were out of the black and they had white and red so I had chose red but then they got the black back in stock so I was happy with that then um, set those down I found on walmart.com that they sold a case of 12 of the white ones for about $25 and they don't do site to store for that item so I had to pay shipping but it was a decent price my mouth is drying out please excuse me for a second my new toothpaste that just dries my mouth okay and the next item I got from wisdomproducts.com is the holy death water and there is a description on the back of the bottle it's got the little prayer ritual thing. Um, if you get that, you can read through it, or if you research it online, I'm pretty sure you could find it somewhere. Haven't actually opened this yet. Maybe, I don't know if it's scented. Oh my god, that smells good. It's like floral gummy bears. I wish that they made this in shampoo. Oh my gosh, I love this smell. That is amazing. I wish you guys could smell it through the camera. Um, I love that. And the next item I got is the Holy Death Oil. Oh, my nose is craving that scent. I love it. This does not smell like floral gummy bears. I did smell this one earlier, and it reminds me of, um, oh, like a bathroom spray. Like, after somebody goes and takes a crap and then sprays flower bathroom spray. So it's like crappy flowers. But I didn't order this for the smell, and this isn't going it's not like an overpowering fragrance so even though it doesn't smell I mean you guys might like it you might even think it smells like something other than bathroom flowers but I didn't get it for the smell it comes in this little glass bottle and I love how it's packaged a little picture and it's not an overpowering scent like I said so if I use it on something it's not gonna make the room smell like this <laughs> So, still happy with that, even though it doesn't smell as good as this one. I can't get enough of this. I might have to order some more. I'm going to be using that a lot. The next item I ordered, I originally picked black, and they were out of black. And I'm kind of confused. I might have to email them on the website again, because it still says that they have black in stock. But they told me they didn't. But they may have gotten it in since I ordered. But I chose white because they were out of red also. And I got this. This is what I chose. It's the Holy Death Santa Morte statue. And there's seats on the bottom, which I really like that. I like how they did that. And it kind of wasn't exactly maybe as the picture had shown, but I'm still extremely happy with this. But I kind of had to laugh a little bit to myself when I took her out of the package. She reminded me of off of Coraline, the other mother. If you've seen that, if you haven't seen it, Google it and you may get a laugh. That's just the first thing that popped into my head when I took her out of the box. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her that well. If I... That's the other mother. Just I think it's more or less the long neck if you, at, towards the end of the movie. 
Oh, uh, that's probably bad of me to joke about that, but I thought it was uh, a resemblance. Uh, the next thing I got, I didn't actually order. A friend gave it to me. It is a cemetery gravestone marker. It is so cool. This was from the same friend that gave me the toe tag for Valentine's Day. I still have that. It's amazing. I'm so happy with this. I haven't really figured out where to put it yet. I'm going to probably make... Um, I've got ponies. My Little Ponies. Yeah, surprise. I've got My Little Ponies stacked up on my shelves right now, so I'm probably going to have to box those back up, which would be a good thing anyway because the humidity is getting to the packages, so if I box those up, then I can put my Death Shrine up. That didn't make me sound crazy. The next thing was something I ordered online. I was in Barnes & Noble. It's a book, uh, obviously. Um, and I saw the price of this book and I was like, oh my god, I can't really justify paying that, but I really wanted to read it. So I used their Wi-Fi and I ordered it ordered it online for cheaper. Win. So I got the Zach Bagans I Am Haunted book. I have not read his first one yet, but I have it. I ordered that one also. I'm going to read it after this one. I recommend this to anybody that loves paranormal or ghost adventures. Zach Bagans is probably one of the only has one of the only like uh, ghost hunting shows that if you want to call it that I guess that's what it is uh, I don't know if it's actually ghost hunting or if it's just like paranormal investigating however you want to categorize his show it is one of the only shows that I enjoy in that type of thing sorry oh, my mouth is drying out in time it's giving me stutters I can't talk as every video I haven't finished this book yet. I'm not even halfway into it, but I haven't been reading it as of late. I'm kind of worried about finishing it because I love it so much I don't want it to end. But I think we've all kind of gone there with a the book before. We just, we don't want it to end. I've got maybe four other books that have about anywhere between three to ten pages left that I haven't finished because I don't want it to end. Um, I love it so far. It's him talking about his point of view of everything and he mentions the demon house that he bought and the documentary he's working on for it. I'd give it a read if I were you. I enjoy the crap out of this book. It's something I will probably read again and again after I make myself finish this book. Okay and the last thing that I have to show you guys, I don't really have much to say on it because it kind of speaks for itself when I show it to you. For a long time I have wanted this and it was one of those things where you obsess over where you're like I have to have this I have to have this no matter no matter what cost and that cost ended up being five hundred dollars plus thirty five dollars shipping give or take a few dollars and in my opinion it's worth it because I'm happy with it every day I walk into my room it's on top of my herb cabinet so it's overlooking the room I am happy with it it makes me smile and I will just show it to you this is Malia. I don't want to drop her. She is a human skull. She is a female. From what my friends and I have kind of pieced together, we think she is possibly African. We're not sure about the age based on the... I can't think of what it's called right now. You, you know what I mean. Uh, we can't figure out really pinpoint her age yet. She was from, you can tell based on the writing, there's very faint writing on it, that it was from either an articulated skeleton or from like a science class. And she still has some of her teeth, which is awesome. Her jaw moves. There's a hinge to open her skull, but she's seen some damage in her time. So I try not to open her too much to look inside. I put this tiara on her because it just kind of fits. I've named her Malia. I am happy with this. It does not freak me out at all. I think she's happy here. I don't get any bad vibes or feeling off of her. And she's on top of the herb cabinet and I bought her her own little fancy sitting pillow. So I just put her up there on her pillow and I've got some crystals and 
tumbled stones and stuff surrounding her so I'm trying to add some more little decorations not sure exactly what she'd like but I feel that she deserves to be treated like a queen so that is why she gets to be overlooking the entire room like I said there's not really much else to say about her she kind of speaks for herself but I love her and I think that she is gorgeous She's very fragile though because she's obviously gone through some serious things in her lifetime, or in her after lifetime. I'm sure this has happened after death, but you know what I mean. That is all that I have to show you guys right now. If I come across more things that I have accumulated in this long absence, short absence, can't remember the last time I did a video, then I will do another video. I will get this uploaded and make my hollow promise of putting up more videos, which I probably won't. Again, I was saying at the end of every video, so it's almost become routine now. <laughs> um, I will see you guys later, and thank you for watching. Oh, holy crap, now my desktop disappeared. Okay, it's back. <laughs> I'm having so many techno technological problems today. There, now I can end the video.